Hi everyone, today I am going to be doing a very highly requested updated what's in my pin case video. I don't know how many of these I've done over the years. Probably most of them are in an Estia pen case. I'm very loyal to this type of pen case. The only thing that really tends to change is the um, exact Estia I'm using. I have quite a lot of them, but it is still my favorite pen case for just every day. My, you'll see kind of a trend in my <laughs> favorite pens anymore are I'm liking kind of like neutrals, nude barrels, and like vintage ink colors and it's not changing a whole lot from that so you'll just see a lot of these pens are very similar to each other and that's just been my vibe lately. I'm going to try to kill two birds with one stone in this video because I will be traveling at the end of the month for a couple of weeks and I always stress about trying to limit the amount of pens I'm taking so I'll try to decide as I'm doing this video and I'll let you know what few I'm going to kind of like pull aside for my little journaling kit that I am going to pack away for my trip. So, why don't we just get started? Oh, and I do want to apologize for the wound on my hand. I was introducing my border collie to a donkey, and I got a rope burn because it didn't go super well. <laughs> but anyway, we'll just ignore it. Okay, so... I love the colors of these Make Mark highlighters. I think I have a couple in here. Um, they're like these amazing sort of like, I don't know how to describe these, these Morandi colors, these nude neutral colors. The only thing is, even though I really like the barrels for the way that they look, they kind of remind me of cosmetics. The, they're horrible if you want to be able to like put them in a pin loop or something. I mean just like totally useless for that <laughs> but they're totally great if you have a larger size pin case and you just want to throw them in there. So I like these. I think they're pretty and I love the ink colors of them. So these are the Make Mark nuance color marker they're called we still do sell these i believe sunstar is not remaking them they were just kind of like a one-time deal so if you're interested in them you would probably want to get them now i will post all the links below per usual but yeah it just doesn't that look like makeup or something <laughs> Okay, so I don't know. I'm just going to randomly pull out uh, stuff. So Uni, this is the Uni Vault 1 feel in, I think this was a limited color. The Uni Vault 1 F, I think they just call this one the beige, right? Wasn't this? Oh, yeah. This is a limited barrel color that I just nabbed while I could before they sold out. So I'm sure I have plans for this because I just loved the barrel. Sorry, I want to be honest about what's in my pin case, but I also feel guilty when I show things you can't get anymore. I apologize for that. There is there are some similar colors in the standard lineup in the Uniball one feel, so I will post the standard lineup below. And they are good at coming out with limited editions, like, you know, every so often, every six months, one year or something. So you can kind of check about out every once in a while. And then if you really like that sort of color and that... 
aesthetic. You might really like this Sunstar Mute On, which is a quick dry gel pen. It's good for left handers, actually. I recently launched these. And because it's a Sunstar product, like who knows if they'll restock them, but these are great quick dry gel pens and I have really been loving these. I'll just kind of show you. And the reason it's called a mute on is because they're doing that whole thing where they're making the like clicker real quiet on there for people who get annoyed by the clicking noise. So it's in that whole genre of, oh my gosh, I hate this one. I cannot think of pen names. It's like my job to be able to do this. I will post them on the screen since I am blanking. But you know, like the blend is an example. And oh my gosh, Pentel makes one too. I'll post post the the names on the screen here but you know the quiet pens so other pens in here let me just grab all these out because I always have a bunch of these around and I'll tell you one of the hacks I like to do with these so these are I've done a video on these I love these these are the pilot Juice Up Classic Glossy. Oh, it's the best ink ever. And my favorite hack is I like to take my gorgeous Friction Marble Barrel, which is like one of my most favorite barrels. So I put my Classic Glossy inside so you can see I've been enjoying this must be my classic glossy green that I've been almost using up here but it is just oh, it's just so good so instead of using this as an, a friction pen right now I'm just using this fantastic gorgeous mostly metal barrel a nice rose gold trim to hold my one of my classic glossy inks I will link you know when I've done whole swatching videos I'll like link them so that if you're interested in seeing a lot of these swatched you can go watch like those whole videos on the product itself otherwise this video would just be like you know hours long but those are so good if you do not have the classic glossy you must get the classic glossy trust me so good okay what else do we have in here i recently did a video on these love 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 these and they're very much like this other pen I have in here too so the pen I'm talking about is the sorry I'm having focus issues the ill nilly nuance use these all the time now great vintage ink colors I'll link this video here and then also of course the they're very similar to the Sakura Bolsign ID and the Sakura Bolsign ID plus love those and they have a very similar look as well but you know deep dark inks is the mood here and actually, just to kind of do a little bit of like, this is what I'm talking about. I'm just going to really quickly lay down so that you're seeing the mood 
of my inks here because this is important. Important stuff. Okay, you get the idea. You see what I've got, what I've got going. This, I don't know, you people out there who are really good with art and color, you tell me what is going on with my color vibe right now. Just maybe the whole vibe in general. I just feel like I'm growing up a little bit or something, you know? I'm in my 40s. These things happen. Okay. All right. So, this is like the, I don't know. Sorry, that digging noise means next door in the warehouse a package of some new products was just dropped off so we can all get ex we get excited when we hear that noise <laughs> okay so these this is like the soda blue version of the i don't know the beige pink feeling <laughs> so i've got some things going on here this is another mute on the Mute On has a really great colorway. I need to do a whole video on the Mute On, so that should be coming soon. This, again, I recently did a video on this product. I'll link it here. This is the Jet Stream 4 Plus 1 Bamboo in the gorgeous, they call this blue gray. And then this one is a Uniball 1P, so I'll show you it compared to the Uniball 1 feel. Same exact inside, but you can see that barrel is very different. I have done a whole video on those as well. See, now that we're properly stuffed at Tokyo Ben Shop, I have time again to do videos. It's so exciting. And I will post a video to the Uniball 1P right here. Obviously, I'm liking a lot of the, like, new stuff we've been getting lately. Another Mute On that I really like. This one, I think, is the... Another great grown-up color, I would say. Okay. Let's see. A few more things. Something I need to do a video on absolutely love so this is basically you know from the front it looks like just a beautiful sarasa grand vintage in the green black but you can see it's actually the limited edition snoopy version and i love this one okay so first of all i love the combo of green and gold it is like my favorite combo and then this has snoopy and all these like camping icons and i just love it so much because i am an outdoors person all the way so you can see snoopy and those camping icons gorgeous pen Again, Sarasa Grand Vintage. I have, you know, the Sarasa Grand Vintage Green Black in it. But there's a lot you can put in the Sarasa Grand Vintage. You can put Uniball 1, anything that's kind of compatible with these, like anything you've found that's kind of interchangeably compatible. With these bodies will will work the, the Sakura bull sign ID works in both of these bodies I'm trying to think what other favorites I've done oh you can totally do that the Pintel inner gel you can totally do that so they're really great bodies to have if you like them okay now just a couple more. So this, 
I like to have this one. This is another kind of like a neutral body. I don't know if it's coming across as kind of like neutral beige as it is in real life. What do they call this one? I think they just call it milky beige. I like this one because it is a 0.3 ballpoint, which makes it very fine. So if I have to write very finely on like a form or in my planner or something, this is like a very fine, precise <laughs> ballpoint and I just love it. And let me see if it'll let me like show you just, it's so super fine. So you can see that and I just really like that it's just nice neutral. So it's, it's going along with my whole current whatever it is I have going on. I do not totally understand it, but it is like really trending with the Japanese stationery. So it is like just working for me right now. Okay. Go back up. Okay. So the Ladir. This is a Sakura multi pen that I really like. And it is really interesting in that the colors are sepia black, coral red, and sunny blue. So they're not the standard blue black red, but they're pretty close. Actually, let me just show you. I am sure I've done a video on this before. I'll try to find it and link it so that if you're interested, you could see it. Let me zoom in and then swatch it for you here. Let me zoom way in. Okay. And I'll swatch this one for you. Um, Because I use this one a lot. I really like it. It does really nicely on like my Jibun Techo paper, my Hobonichi Weeks. You know, it's just, it's good on like good Japanese paper basically. And it's just like fine precision. I just really like it. So that's kind of a that for you to see. And again, you know, just this, this barrel is so nice. I just really like it. I hope as I'm telling you how much I like this, that we still have these. I'm sure we do. I don't think they've discontinued it. I think I would have, I would know because I'd be so annoyed about that. Okay, another one. Oh, I might have to go get all the ones. You know what? I'm going to do a whole video on these. So just stay tuned. Anyways, so some of you might be familiar with the Marks Inc. Tous les Jours pen. It is a very popular pen, but the original version is in a wooden barrel. Let me see if I have one. Oops, sorry. On this mess of dust I'm filming on. I don't think I have one nearby. Mm, I don't. Um, but anyway. So the original version is wooden. And what they've come out with is this, like, could totally last a lef lifetime brass barreled version. So you can get it in a like a gold gold, champagne pink gold, black gold, and a white gold combo. And with a, instead of a ballpoint, it is a, a really nice gel ink. It's like very similar to the Sunstar Muon that I was telling you about. But it's, yeah, so they basically kind of like reinvented the Tous les Jours pen. Sorry, I don't speak French. So I'm just uh, totally butchering that, I apologize. 
but this Merck ink, ink pen, they still make the original. We still sell the original in a lot of different really pretty colors. But if you really like this like more elegant brass barrel that totally could last you forever, and you like the idea of the gel refill, you should check these out. They're so nice. And they come in these really pretty like gift box. So they just like next leveled it and I'm pretty excited about it. So yeah, I need to do a whole video on this. So I'm gonna add it to the list. And then just a couple more things. Did a whole video on these, so I just real quickly but I got one of these uni style fit always in my pin case, the rose gold trim. And this is the soft pink body and it is so pretty. And then this is the uh, Kese Lame limited edition that is totally sold out, but I really liked this twinkling purple color it was really pretty or it was like a more like a burgundy color it's like a darker color i hope they do these darker ones again people really liked them and it's erasable which is fun and then left over in here that's not pens is just a few things working on launching these sticker booklets that I was trying it out in my hobonichi weeks and they just make really great companions to that. So I'm looking forward to launching this series. And then I've been using this one a lot lately. It is a Deco Rush. It's a limited edition that I think we still have. And it's the purple pot guy, you know, for when you want to remember, do your cooking or give yourself credit for your cooking or whatever in your planner. I like this guy. And I use this thing every day because I constantly have to measure products and it's got both millimeters and inches. And I couldn't tell you what brand this is. I actually grabbed it in a stationery store in Spain and I wish I had grabbed more of them because I am, oh, Legami is the brand. So maybe I could find it. But anyway, I am constantly in fear of losing this because I use it all the time. Anyways, if you have any questions about the things in my pen case or you thought of other videos you would like me to do as I was doing my pen case video, please let me know. As you heard, there are several videos in the queue right now. And also, I kind of thought my guided journaling series was wrapped up, but I started having some more ideas for that. And I really kind of want to revive it or like do a whatever, a generation two of it. So if you have any requests for that, I would happily take those as well. I hope to talk to you all soon and i hope if you have questions that you do ask them i am happy to answer them and i will see you all soon bye, -bye.